Welcome! Today, I'll show you how to turn a frozen photo into a dynamic, living image using Photoshop and CapCut on your computer. And if you're working on your phone, no worries, I've got you covered with free tools to achieve the same. Amazing effect later in the video. Let's dive in and bring your photos to life. If you don't have access to Photoshop, you can use an alternative like Photopea, which is free and web-based. In Photoshop or Photopea, you'll use the selection tool to manually isolate the objects and characters you want to animate. This process is done manually to achieve the desired effect. When using tools like the Quick Selection tool, holding down the Alt key changes the brush to Subtract mode. This allows you to remove unwanted parts of the selection for a more precise result, especially with smaller or intricate details. If you've worked with Photoshop before, you're likely familiar with this. However, if you're a beginner, pay close attention to the details to learn how to select properly. Don't skip the next segment, where I'll demonstrate how to select feathered or semi-transparent parts. In the Select and Mask option, use the Refine brush to go over areas that weren't selected correctly. This step is crucial for cleaning up the edges and improving the overall accuracy of the selection. The next brush is similar to a painting brush, but instead of painting, it creates selections. By holding the shift key, you can draw a straight line between two points, which is helpful for achieving precision when needed. Once you've drawn the straight lines or made initial adjustments, switch back to the previous brush in Select and Mask to refine the selection further. This ensures clean and accurate edges. The next step is to create a new layer via right-click and then delete the selection from the original layer. This method isolates the selected part for easier editing. Instead of deleting, use the new layer via copy option by right-clicking. This will create a new layer with only the selected part while keeping the original intact, allowing you to work non-destructively. Photoshop's newer versions include an intelligent erasing tool. Simply paint over the area you want to remove, and the tool will automatically erase it. This is especially useful for complex selections and saves time. The key step during exporting is to save the selected part, for example, a character or object as a PNG file, as it supports transparent backgrounds. For the background, export it as a JPG which is ideal for non-transparent images and offers efficient compression. When exporting, make sure the layer is visible by enabling the eye icon. First, export the selected part in PNG format, then repeat the process for the background in JPG format. This ensures each element is exported correctly. In CapCut on your computer, arrange the elements in the same order I have. Now, pay close attention to the next steps, create keyframes for animation. For the background, I set it to move further away, while the people move closer to the viewer. If you've never created keyframes before, start by positioning the playhead at the beginning of the timeline. Click the keyframe icon to add your first keyframe. Then, simply zoom in using the cursor, and the software will automatically create a new keyframe. Repeat the same process for the other image to achieve the desired effect.
Now, let's add an effect depending on my video. I added a falling snow effect. Most effects in CapCut have options to adjust the atmosphere and speed, so take the time to tweak them to best suit your video. Make sure the effect complements the overall mood and enhances the animation. How to edit on a phone? Search for Pixel Cut on Google, but use it on Google Chrome instead of the app, as the app requires payment, and I want to demonstrate only free tools. We'll first remove the background. Download the image. Then use the Magic Eraser option. Add the same image and erase the bear from the background. If you want, you can write in the comments how you say bear in your language. Don't worry about the leftover parts because they will be covered by the bear once it's animated. If you use these options, the image needs to be simple like this one. For the more complex image from earlier, I had to use Photoshop or Photopea to cut out and erase the necessary parts. In CapCut on phone, I had to disable Wi-Fi because it's filled with ads. When you add the first image, Click Overlay and then add the second image. If it's not properly scaled, adjust it to match the first image. Create keyframes for the background I set it to zoom out while the bear zooms in. Simply add a keyframe and adjust the zoom in or out, depending on the effect you want to achieve. You can do it this way or reverse the effect for a different result. That's it for this tutorial, I hope you found it helpful. If you want to learn more, I've already made three similar tutorials that you can check out. You'll find them in the playlist linked next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.